Good morning, bikers and babes. It's Rick Gonzalez with another how-to video. Today we're going to talk about how I installed a light bar and windshield on my soft tail deuce. The soft tail deuce. As you all know, this is a second generation soft tail frame. It's slightly different than most soft tails. The biggest difference is the 51 millimeter addition to the main backbone of the bike. That's why you got that stretch tank. And I think it has a more of a rake too to give it somewhat of a chopper look from the factory. It came all chrome, but a lot, of, a lot of accessories do not fit. I post pictures of my bike all the time and I get questions about my saddlebags and this light bar I put in front here. The idea for this bike, I always loved the deuce. I thought it looked really nice, um, like a chopper look. In my mind, I wanted to, to give my bike a 50s hot rod look. It was a 50s hot rod look. That's why the flames on the on the tank. So this gives it a nostalgic look to it. And plus uh, this little four four and three quarters inch light doesn't doesn't give me enough light at night. With the extra lighting it gives me better vision and also people can see me better. The windshield setup for the deuce is a little different than most soft tails or most Harleys. Most Hardys have a bolt right here. Okay, the deuce doesn't. So I kind of fabricated and kind of I kind of mixed match some parts and stuff and I got this to work. So I got this light bar. A motorcycle swap meet that they have every year. So I got it for 60 bucks with lights and everything included. All right. So the task was to mount it onto the bike. So I got online and I got some clamps. The deuce is equipped with 41 millimeter leg tubes. They're made by a company called National Cycle Windshield Hardware. I think I paid 50 bucks for them. So I put those clamps on because the original deuce clamps, they come in through the inside and the windshield mounts in here. Well, kind of hard to find. So I got these clamps and then I was gonna put this light bar. So the light bar comes, this whole access, this whole assembly here. And this part is where the windshield mounts to and clips on. So I bought these clamps. I got the light bar and I drilled some holes. I can, you can still see the markings where I figured it out. Okay, these bolts are rusting, I got it change these out to something else. I've got some spacers and I put these extended bolts here and I'm, I bolted it to the to the clamps I bought. So that's how I set it up. Of course I re-ran the wires. My signal lights were here and the wire was actually on the outside. So it was easy for me to to bring them back down into here. Hook them up and that's how I got it to work. The fog lights, I hooked them up to the headlight. So when it's on low beam, all three are on. When it's on high beam, these turn off and it's just a high beam. Now, these lights, they're the LED ones. These are little fog lights as well. So they're white. And then when I do the signal light, they turn yellow and blink and it turns white again. So that adds a lot of light. I put these together. I got online, I got the grommets. I kind of, using my, my friend's bike as reference, got everything set up the way I wanted it. I got my windshield set up. And 
It's funny how you get used to a windshield. I rode 16 years on a little sports car without a windshield. And then during the beginning of COVID, this bike broke down and I borrowed my daughter's bike. And um, I really don't know how I managed to ride a bike without a <laughs> windshield. I've whisked out somewhat, but that's what it looks like. Now, granted, I'm a budget kind of guy. I bought the light bar for 60 bucks. I bought the brackets for about 30 bucks. And then the little knickknacks, I went to Home Depot, got the spacers and the bolts together. And then the windshield was a donation from a friend. That's how I did this setup to put the light bar in and do the windshield. If you like my videos, please punch the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the notification bell. Have any questions, please comment. Get out and ride, and God bless you.